It's important and it's a place that's familiar to all of us. Some of us looked forward to it. Others felt it was simply something that had to be done. It became a home away from home, as many hours of each day were spent in activities that our parents said were very important. During these years, it seemed we were surrounded by giants who were definitely the bosses. They made many decisions as to how we would spend each day, which led me to wonder what was so important about all of this. Because most of what we were doing was fun. It was new. However, there were exceptions, such as having to take a nap each day because the bosses were tired. I remember feeling so good each morning when the bus driver, Ken, would call me by my name. He would say, watch your step, Peter. I miss that. When it was time for lunch, I was amazed at how many hot dishes could be made from tuna, how many teeth could be lost eating apples for dessert. It was obvious we were all in the same situation, and making friends became very important for us. I needed to share my feelings with someone, and who better than Alicia, who was in my study group anyway. We talked about everything and everybody, including Mrs. Pierce, who was not only our homeroom teacher, but a real friend. It was a good feeling. It was time to move to another building, this one further away from home, and with all types of people. I remember feeling both scared and excited as I faced the computer screen. I wondered how all of this would affect my life. I was getting taller, and this was comforting. If only summer vacation had lasted just a bit longer, and my face would have cleared up. I could hardly wait until the dance, my first one there. I wondered if everyone still stood on the opposite side of the dance floor like we used to. Only one problem existed. I had to be home by 11. Curfew. Parents, you know. They worried about me sometimes too much. I discovered that I was really interested in writing, not so concerned that it was exact, but that I could say things my way. I felt good inside when I could express my opinion. And although not everyone agreed, it was okay, because my opinion did matter. Even Principal Snyder recognized my talents and encouraged me to continue writing. Moving to another building was much easier this time because I finally had my wheels, and did it feel good. Sure, my car needed a little engine work and a new paint job. A muffler would have been nice, but it was a real cruiser. I remember going shopping with my mom to pick up a pair of those new high-top tennis shoes everyone was wearing. She took one look at the price and mumbled something about me getting a job and supporting my own fashion trends. I found myself asking, do you want fries with that? The more I worked, the more money disappeared. But with all the problems going on in the world, such as the environment, world peace, even the national debt, it seemed trivial for me to complain about it. In a few months, I'll be moving out of my home and maybe to another city. I'll miss the disaster, another name for my room, and all my friends, but it's time to get serious or I'll be flipping burgers forever. This is going to be quite an adventure. If only I could find a place to park with all these people. Just bought a new book bag like everyone else has. My two roommates appear to have some sanity. Only wish they'd understand that, as patriotic as I am, not everyone sings the national anthem at three in the morning. These days, I eat lunch if I can find the time, and my desire to write well is becoming a real need. I really wonder if all this information is necessary. Why do I have only six hours of the entire day to call my own? Oh well, as they've said all along, it's important and I'm beginning to understand why. It's time for a big decision. What can I make of my life? There are so many choices. What will be right for me? What are my inclinations, my skills and talents, my aspirations and my best potential for growth and development? Where will be my greatest sources of fulfillment? Recognizing that life is a continuous flowing process of becoming, I may make several career choices in my lifespan. What needs to guide these choices? One thing for certain, it needs to be challenging. I want to continue growth both personally and professionally. My career choice needs to accommodate this. What I choose to do also needs to be important and rewarding. I want to make a difference in the lives of others. In that sense, it needs to be people-oriented as well. Yes, this would be central to my choice. I also need to create in what I do. It isn't that I won't be stimulated by accomplishments of the past, but it seems the most promising future depends on imagination and creativity. 
Adaptability will be important as I deal with the unknown. Everybody faces the unknown, but a planned sense of purpose will provide me additional choices in guiding my life's direction. Collaboration would also be a satisfying element in what I choose to do in my life. There is something to the notion that two heads are better than one, and I realize that people who are successful in life share important cooperative working relationships which contribute to their success. Sharing would be very satisfying. Making choices is a large part of life's activities, and I would like a career where I can participate in important decision-making processes. Beyond that, if it were possible to help others refine their decision-making skills, so much the better. Setting goals and helping others to set goals would be an additional reward. I respect the individual talents and differences in people, acknowledging that every individual gains motivation through praise and encouragement, and it's very important that my career choice allows me this opportunity. I also want to have fun in my career and feel a level of excitement in my day-to-day -day personal and professional activities. I would like it if no two days were the same, and I could come home at the end of each day looking forward to tomorrow, at least most of the time. I suppose there is no career free from periodic disappointment, frustration, or even anger. Yet the right choice would keep these at minimal levels and in perspective. Finally, I would like a career where others who matter in my life will be as proud of my decision as I am. Pride in one's work has always been a benchmark of success. If I'm good at what I do, pride and recognition should follow naturally. I will feel a sense of achievement if I can influence others to aspire in what I have chosen to do and do it in a quality manner. Again I ask, what can I make of my life with so many choices? Where will be my greatest sources of fulfillment in choosing a career which lends itself to challenge, creativity, adaptability and reward, sharing and decision making, goal setting, respect and caring, people oriented, making a difference, and fun and excitement. It just might be education.